Hi guys, so the next thing when it comes to auditing a website, you would want to test it for web speed. Now, there's a number of different reasons why your website may slow down. It might just be that you're on a cheap, horrible server. It may be that parts of your website don't need to be there to, you know, and, and stuff like that. So depending on the code in your website, depending on the server you have, you really want to try and get that balance right. And obviously if you've got a large website, you cannot run that on a very small server. But how do we test that? How do we check what our website speed is? Well, there's a number of different tools out there. Now, all of these ones that I'm going to show you are free and these can give you an idea as to whether your website is actually performing that well in terms of site speed. Now, why do I use three? Well, some tools flag up one thing and if you solely rely, stop, uh, rely on that information, then you're probably doing it wrong. It's nice to get a comparison and hope that between all three of them, you've got a much better idea as to whether your website is good or bad in terms of website speed. Now, first tool is tools.pingdom.com and it's very simple and easy to use. You put your URL in, test from Europe, London, wherever the hell you are based. There is a number of different options here, um, depending on where you are in the world. Try and just use the one that's nearest where you're located. And I've already done the test and you can see that I've got a performance grade of C. Um, page size, 1.2 megabytes, load time, 7.7 .7 milliseconds, and I've got 44 requests. So there are a little couple of tweaks there that will improve my page performance, but overall, probably a decent score. It loads in under a second, but you can drill down in this information and you can see where the problems lie um, and what we can do to address those problems. Next tool, GT Metrics. Um, again, I use London as the server location and I've done this just there and I have a score of A. So I've got quite a good score on the website. This is saying that it loads in 4. 4 155 milliseconds um, and you can see everything else here performance structure waterfall and all that stuff and um, if you want to dig a bit deeper um, into the first <coughs> um, the first content full paint time to interactive total blocking time and all of the other information is all there um, so you can see all of that kind of stuff down here and again get a much better idea of what the problems are on your website and these are things that you can then pass on to your developer. Now Google also has its own Google Page Speed Insights is what it's called and I've got a mediocre score here, 73, per, uh, 73 out of 100, obviously it's in the middle bracket. You would probably want that to be up near the green. Um, so again, it's it's giving me a slightly different score, and I would probably want to look at maybe properly sizing images, remove unused CSS, remove unused JavaScript, um, and stuff like that. So these are things that I can use to go and further improve my website, and that is basically what a speed. A website speed audit is now how much is too much sometimes guys going out there and their website loads in 700 milliseconds according to gt met or 400 milliseconds according to gt metrics is there any benefit of me getting that down to 300 is it going to make a massive impact on my seo probably not because it loads fast enough now obviously if your website takes 40 seconds to load there's a massive problem. People are going to bounce off your website and move on elsewhere. One, it's just infuriating for a customer. And two, Google are not going to like that. And uh, and also bear in mind that those click-through rate and engagement metrics, which are also going to help your SEO, are going to be impacted by a slow loading website. 
but probably anything under two seconds is a good score. Um, obviously, you want to try and get it as fast as you possibly can, but do not become super obsessed with trying to get it from 1.3 seconds to 1.1. Um, will that make a huge difference? Probably not. So do not spend 20 hours trying to, you know, get your know, 0.1 of a second better. Um, you know, get it fast loading, get it on the right type of server and clean up what you can without harming the look, the feel and just, you know, the benefits of what a website is supposed to do. You cannot avoid everything unless you're going to put out a plain HTML web uh, page. You're not going to get a website that loads like lightning. Um, you know, things have to happen. Uh, CSS has to be used. JavaScript has to be used in terms of certain functions and features on your website. So do not become super obsessed with it. But page speed is important. Try and get it loading as fast as you possibly can. And this or these three tools can give you a guide and help you do a website speed audit. So that's all you need to do and if that all works out well for you then great if not just implement those changes and then move on to the next part of your audit